In this class, you'll get an overview of the CS1500 system's main components. The CS1500 intraoral camera comes in two versions, wireless and USB. This class covers the components for both. Let's begin with the heart of the system, the camera. The camera's case encloses the electronic components needed to capture images and video. On one side are the shutter release, the power LED, and the connection LED. The shutter release is used to capture images and video. The power LED lights when the camera is on. The connection LED lights when the connection to the dock station is working and active. On the other side are the camera window, the power button, and the cable slash battery release. The camera window is the part through which images of the patient's dental anatomy are captured. Eight white LEDs illuminate the area to aid you in locating the area of interest and provide sufficient light for capturing stills and video. The power button turns the camera on and off. The cable slash battery release is pressed to remove the cable or battery from the camera. Both camera versions ship with a proprietary USB cable. This cable is required to connect the camera to a workstation or when pairing a wireless camera to a dock station. The USB camera ships with a rapid USB cable. A battery in the cable helps to reduce startup times. It also permits moving the camera from workstation to workstation without the need to turn the camera off. The wireless camera uses a dock station as a communication hub between the camera and a workstation or monitor. When used with a workstation, it transfers the images and video to the workstation where images are viewed and stored using the imaging software included with the system. When used with a standalone monitor, up to 10,000 images can be stored on a removable SD card. The images can be transferred to a workstation with an SD card reader. On the front of the dock station are the camera cable connection, the SD card slot, the power LED, and the connection LED. On the back of the dock station are the USB cable connection, the VGA output, the S-video output, the TV output, the incoming power connection, the foot switch connection, and the charger power output connection. On the bottom of the dock station are the mount holes for permanent installations and the video output selector. That's it. As you can see, the design of the CS1500 camera, wireless or USB, is simple and enables you to focus on what's important, your patience. If you have any comments or questions about this lesson, please contact us at Masterworks Training at PracticeWorks.com and reference the content code located in the lower right corner of this slide.